Here we are, out on the estate lake, a few hours today. We've basically got one across the far side in that corner, been around and baited up. And then one across the far side, really close to the island. It keeps beeping at the moment, so I'm assuming the sensitivity has probably turned itself up. And uh, need to sort things out on that one. I've done a bit of weed clearance. As you can see, it's a lot clearer over there. Looking a lot better. Haven't got a bait over there yet. I'm actually sort of planning on doing is I'm going to actually flick the deeper out in the middle later on. Let's turn this sensitivity back down to something sensible. There you go. Flick the deeper out there later on. Just leave it drifting around and recording and just see if any fish move into that area. Because that's the area they used to love to live in and sit on the top. So you just have to see what they do. Do again. It's not the it's perfect for fishing, but they're normally up on the top in the sunshine. What I reckon they're gonna end up doing is being out here. So I'm going to do a bit of a weird left hand flick of the bag into the outskirts of this weed. I think they might well be, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on this area as well. Whether I should put a bait in here, I'll leave the baits where they are. So we'll just have to see how we, uh, how we progress and how we watch out. It's going to be a pretty sort of grey day with a little bit of rain in the air. So I don't know if I'll see them at the top. Obviously they could actually be quite happily all over the back there in that back bay. But I'd have wandered around earlier on when I arrived. And to be perfectly honest with you, I saw one fish roll, which is off the side of that island. So I'll just have to see how it progresses and how we get on. Anyway, it's nice to be back. I'll start trying to do Monday days on here now more often through the winter do a few nights on here so I just want to sort of uh, stick to little areas and things where I know I can uh, flip baits out and things without too much trouble so I've got to set up in the dark anyway I'll give you an update as the day progresses I'll see how we get on well it's coming up nearly to home time you can see the weed there that have cleared. I've actually moved the rod to the back of that weed bed there. There's some, some fizzing up earlier on. That's the right hand rod. Um, I left the other one where it Yeah, I left the other one where it was. Nice good clean area over there. I put some bait out myself so. Felt the right area to fish. Um, it's all pretty quiet, really. There's no no fish on the top today. I've seen one more fish roll along that tree line out there. Basically, that is really all I've seen. Really, very quiet on the fish front. Didn't even see any in the weed over there. Quite a surprise, really. It's not been a sunny day, so maybe they do have their uh, heads down and stuck at the bottom somewhere. Just have to see, really. Anyway, this is the area I'm going to be concentrating on over the winter months. There's going to be a fair few options. Put a bit of bait out here. See where we can go. And, uh, yeah. We'll move on, it's going to be a hard, slow winter I feel. But, uh, we might crack things as we go, just have to see. Anyway, it's a wrap really. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. If you're out there, good luck. Catch a lump and I'll uh, catch up with you soon. A little place in it.
Well, I've decided I'll either empty the car when I get home and sit at home most of the day and do some housework, or I um, come to the lake and do a bit of fishing. As you can see, definitely not doing housework. And I do have to crack this place. And the only way of doing it is more and more time. As I said before, I'm sticking to this area. Because um, I'm baiting it really. I'm just going to bait this area. And as this area is sort of. These, well, and I've only got two rods, but I'm going to start using three later on. Sort my license out. Um, I've got plenty of spots to cover if necessary. And uh, got plenty of bait in. You know, at the moment, the fish seem to be quite enjoying that. Uh, those pads there. I'm quite enjoying those pads over there. So that's where I've got a bait at the moment. Sort of. Um, might put a bait there later on if I see anything moving. So I sort of keep my options open and see what I can find, see what I can see. And uh, yeah, try and get sort of uh, things settled in. Just to get a few little showers today, but nothing dramatic, so that'd be quite good. The water level's a lot lower than last week, so that water's sort of obviously after the storm and it flushed itself through. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for this lake. You're going to have to find out with time. And that's what helps you catch fish. The more time you spend on the lake, the greater understanding you have for it. So, just got to keep coming backwards and forwards. And, uh, glean as much information, spend as much time on it, sitting and watching. I like this swim, because I can actually see to the more or less to the back of the island around there I'm sure there's there's always fish around the back of the island but I'm always convinced there's always fish amongst these pads and stuff as well so they're not far away just got to try and uh, coax them out to try and create a feeding area for them I don't think um, I don't think it's going to be that straightforward realistically because I'm sure if you get enough flow on here and the water fills up and flows out that Silty patches just disappear and clean areas appear and any definite clear areas are sort of around the margins really. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna put my broly up now. Just I'd rather get it all over and done with. I'm not really even much noise, but it's nice to get all settled down and sorted out before uh, sit and wait, peaceful and quiet. Hoping. Anyway, I'll give you my usual update before I go. There you go, that. All good. Rods at the ready. Go, go. <laughs> you never know, do you? It's the thing. And I keep feeding these spots and see how we get on, really. Well, last rod on the floor. No joy. Managed to not get wet. I suppose it's a bonus. Um. We'll carry on cracking on. So all we can do. Keep on going. Keep on putting the bait out. Keep on looking for the fish. Keep on watching. That's all you can do. You just gotta watch, wait and learn. Uh, there's no there's no easy way of doing this. It's time on the bank. Eventually should get rewarded. But we shall see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, hope you have better luck than me if you're on the bank. Catch up soon. Deja vu. But no. Nope. It's the next day, and I'm back out again. Weather conditions are clearly not conducive for any um, 
form of gardening. Um, yeah, the rod sits are up high because I just basically just stuck the front back stick in, chuck the rods on it because it's actually howling it down when I got here. Um, water level hasn't gone up, so hopefully this may be the um, fish won't want to feed. You know, you do have to, I was thinking a bit about it last night, you do have to take into account I fish from 9 until 2, which might not be the uh, feeding time for here. So, uh, it could be a hard battle, but I'm going to keep putting bait in, in the areas, and just keep on going. And eventually, I think, they'll um, come and visit me. If not, I'll just have to do the odd night and do the same sort of thing, realistically, just stick the rods out like that. Brolly up and um, stick the bed underneath. Just go for it, really. Could be the only way forward. But you know, I'm not giving up yet. It's only sort of first uh, of October today. If I carry on like this, I shall start really considering my options once we lead into November. Now, how I get on if I'm still happily blanking and I still manage to put the bait in every week. And I will sort of change things. I don't, I'm sort of more or less decided I'm not going to put any bait up the other end of the lake. If other people do, well, they do. But if I just keep feeding this area, hopefully with more bait than they're putting out, the fish will come down here. And also, if people fish up there at the weekend, so sort the of feeling that's the area that gets fished the most, because I was having a look up there yesterday, and the gravelly swim is quite flat and down. Uh, the fish will eventually sort of get pushed out of that area if they get caught and move down here when I'm not around and um, feed on the baits and have a little bit more confidence in it because I don't fully fish it sort of, well, maybe once a week really. It uh, might pay off realistically. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely day to be fair. It's, uh, I still love the autumn colours and the autumn light you get, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's, it's not too hard to set up here. Just have to bring less and less tackle. I'm sort of uh, I'm going to set my rods up like that more often. Having my pod up yesterday, it took me ages to set it up, but I just literally need uh, you know, one bank stick with a stabiliser at the front, and um, yeah, rods are done. I'll push it in the ground a little bit further, it'll be a bit lower, but hey ho. It's not what it looks like, it's the important bits on the other end. It catches your fish. I don't know, I should say. Just looking inside. I'm always confident on here. But that's just me. You've got to be confident in what you do. Otherwise, you start having doubts in yourself. Right, there we go. Right. I've got to tidy up now. And I'll uh, give you an update later on. Well, there's been a few lapses in the rain. You had a little bit of sunshine. It's going to rain again at some point soon. Got about 15 minutes before I'm going to pack up. It's looking like another blank. Which is a shame. It's even more fishy sized than before. Hmm. Definitely a carp in that weed bed, right in the middle of the screen there, up against the reeds. It just doesn't seem to be interested in coming out, which is a shame. Um, I've seen nothing in this weed bed here. Not possibly have been one, don't know. Um, the weed bed to the left of me, there's been a few bits of fizzing around that. A little bit carpy. Most of the weed's been taken out of the corner. Um, yeah. There's a little bit of sunshine coming through now. It's lovely when the sunshine shines through, isn't it? And the glimpse through the trees. That weird, lovely autumn light. Well, it's been a pleasurable time here. Sat and read my book. Watched the world go by. What more could you ask for, really?
Yeah, you're all shouting at the screen saying a carp, yeah. I suppose you're not wrong really. But it's perseverance on here. It's not easy. I must admit, I do like challenges. The downside of a challenge is it's not overly good for videoing and blogging. It's just sort of blank, 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 blank. Not very exciting. But it's what I like, really. Lovely place, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, be lucky if you're out there. I'll catch up with you soon, folks. Well, it's another day in paradise. I'm out here, uh, have a wet, rainy day. We came out for a walk yesterday afternoon. Had a good look round. Didn't really see a lot, to be fair. It was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty void of anything, really. Bless them. Uh, we'll just have to see how we go. stopped. We did have a little bit of sunshine for a little while. Just looked quite nice. Um, it's not really long before I've got to go now. An enjoyable day. Not seen a sign of a fish would you believe today. Absolutely unbelievable. What I might do is sort of pack up about 10-15 minutes early and go for a good old walk around the lake and have a look see what I can see just in case there's other stuff about but in general no, not a... nothing nothing, nothing, nothing So hope he doesn't care like this all winter. I can see me perch fishing a lot sooner than uh, I anticipated otherwise. But yeah, I'm hoping the uh, daylight hours for the winter will um, get them moving a little bit more. Especially if you get the odd sunny, lovely crisp winter days. I might just get them on the top and locate them a bit more. Well, I'm still going to persevere with putting the bait out, draw them into this area, get them feeding when the angle of pressure reduces. Hopefully I'll be the one left on here feeding them. Now they've all moved into this area to munch on the food and we'll be in business really to see how we go. Anyway, unfortunately it's the same swim, the same old view every time I'm on here. Not a lot I can do about that. There we go. Anyway, good luck if you're out there. Catch up with you soon. And, uh, yeah. Bring on some monsters, eh? Well, here we are again, out on the uh, little state lake. I've uh, not really moved swims, I've just sort of moved along a little bit. I'll get two baits better positioned in this little area here. I feel 
might hold the fish. Uh, I've been baiting up here for quite a while, I'm sort of scattering it around the general area. There's a couple of spots I've really been sticking a few spoonfuls on. So that's where I've dumped the bait. I sort of hope that the rain today, and I have done when I fished it before, that it stops them hearing me stomping around. It's quite amazing, really. I walked up to the edge of the lake earlier to sort of flick a bait at it. A little hole, excuse me, wobbly, just down there. And uh, there's a sort of few pinprick bubbles coming up before I got there. After a couple of sort of like incredibly light steps, because I do tread carefully around here. Usually a big fizz up, there's obviously a, a spook to fish. But I'd hardly put a foot on the ground, it's just amazing. You know, the, what they feel and what they can sense. I uh, well, it's just a coincidence, but uh, I feel it's more of a uh, thing. So I'm hoping the rain sort of uh, drown out a lot of noise now. I just generally sit on the chair on the umbrella and uh, sit here, don't move around, don't do anything really. Best attempts to uh, stay as quiet as possible. I'm thinking about doing a couple of nights, consecutive nights and days, in a couple of weeks' time on here. See how that goes. Um, should be a little easier, might give me a little bit more choice of where I go. Unfortunately, the um, phone reception here is shocking. And I'm being the uh, sort of part time and house husband person of the house. My wife working about an hour away. I have to be contacted with all the spoons. School boon? Weird. School. And unfortunately, down the other end of the lake, you don't get reception. I do get reception here. So that's another of the reasons why. But once the leaf trees on the leaves on the trees fall off, I know I didn't sleep too much last night. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, phone reception gets a little bit better down there. But it's not too bad, really. You just have to see, really. Can only but try, only but have a go. You know, there's, there is no reason why the carp are not in this area. There is no reason why the carp should all be up that end, because that would just be silly. So, you know, I've seen fizz up, so I've seen them down here. You know, and we've just got to keep on uh, keep on trucking, really. Right, I'll give you another update, and I'll catch up with you soon. Well, as you can hear and see, the rain has um, certainly um, kicked in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think there's a big fizz up over one of my bags just out there at the moment, but I can't really tell. There's been a few little some pieces and things, so never know, never really know. Funny old place this is, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm safely tucked under me brolly, out the rain, hoping and praying. I've got my new um, Grizzly Man uh, suit on today, which is basically thermal trousers, thermal uh, top. Showerproof, breathable, lovely and warm. I'll um, head over to the website and check out the page. Actually. I'm quite impressed. I've basically um, got a thin shirt on and, you know, and the trousers are so warm it's ridiculous. And the jacket's lovely. I keep zipping it up because I get a bit of a chill and then I have to unzip it because they just start cooking inside it. Amazing, really. Anyway, I just thought I'd do you a little bit of a vid for the old uh, rain tapping it down. There we go. Wow, with a little bit of sunshine just peeking through. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely. Little ray of sunshine just tipped its head through there and disappeared again. Maybe there's a uh, breaking the uh, 
incoming. Don't know. Can't check on the internet because uh, I don't have any internet down here. So, not a lot I can do about that. But it's temperamental, to be fair. As if you try to upload something sort of quite sort of uh, detailed, it uh, doesn't like it. The odd photo and things, it's not too much of a problem, but anything beyond that uh, gets, the, gets the right hump. Um, there's been a few little fizz ups, but nothing. I don't know really. I'd love to get a camera down there, I must admit. Just to see what. Uh, you know, it's. It's clearly something disturbing the box from some size, so. This is really only carp in here. Nothing else, it's really gotta be the carp sometimes. Just don't seem to be sort of keen on the bait or the presentation that they're getting at the moment. Just to persevere really. It's going to be uh, quite nice. Well, really good. Right. Catch up with you in a bit. I think there's a bit of blue sky and everything coming. Oh no, here we go. Get a little bit more sunshine now. It does look nice, doesn't it? Just rays of light just streaming through. People do sit and wonder how we can fish. What do you do when you're sitting there fishing? It's just watch the world go by, don't we? It's just gorgeous, peaceful, quiet. Watching, waiting and looking. That's what it's all about. Very important and lovely. Look at that. Perfection. Right then, this bag of carp would be even better, wouldn't it? Defo. Well, I need to just go and lost one, aren't I? In the weed. Unbelievable. This tape came completely out of the blue. It just sort of had me in that real thick weed there. I had it on the surface at one point, but it the line sort of wouldn't come out of whatever it was attached to and then I had to pull it down again to bring a bit of positivity to just what happened at least I got a take over one of the spots I've been baiting which is quite good I'm happy about that that's one good thing that means the fish are actually down here and they are feeding on what a bait I've been putting out so all good there on that front it's been nice to get it in the net, but there we go. Can't win them all. And the rain's starting to come back a little bit again, a little bit of fine drizzle about. I've got about, what we got? An hour left to go now. So, uh, I've got the rod back out again, on the spot again, so who knows, we'll just have to see really. Um, I've got a week off soon for half term. I might actually try and spend some uh, been a few nights on here really, just see how I get on really. But, uh, yeah, after that uh, fish, it's giving me a little bit of inspiration. Otherwise, I was thinking it was going to be more like a uh, two night blank being on here, or if I stayed the third night, three night blank, which wouldn't be overly clever, would it, at the end of the day? <laughs> there we go. There you go, small but perfectly formed. Just over 12 pounds. Countless wafter. To be honest with you, I'm over the moon. After losing one, it's clearly a bit bigger than this. Um, yeah, well happy. Do me. Uh, might even get another one. Not bad. Uh, there you go. Two takes, same day. Unbelievable. Feed in the day. Really happy about that. I'll start to panic a bit. There we go. Oh, there's a little fish. Do the other side for you, because that's got a. I love the colours of that side, but it's got a bit of that. Scar and bits of spawning, I feel. There we go. Lovely orange colours. Absolutely amazing. 
a little fish. Right, better get it back and uh, get a rod out, really. Well, that was uh, turn out of the box, wasn't it? Really unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. Another take. Got this one in through the weed. Less aggro than the last one. I think I must have just been unlucky on the last one. Really must have been. I think there must have been sort of some stick or log or something under the water because it's just that just I didn't have an issue with that one at all. No real issue with that one at all. You know, just held the pressure on and it just came through the weed and sorted itself out. Which is, I don't know, in general, what should have happened before really. There you go. Anyway, I'm over the moon, really. I've got the rod back out. Um, I've got about 20 minutes left, so I nearly didn't bother. I thought, nope, you never know. If they're feeding, it's amazing what you can happen in 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, packing a few bits of bobs away. I think the rain's finished. And uh, if I'm really lucky, um, everything will be dry and all sorted out. That's good. It's been a quite a productive trip. I'm quite uh, quite happy about that. It's worked quite well. So it's all very good, really. There you go. Two takes. Two takes in the air. I've been baiting up. One on the bank. One lost. I'm not going to complain at that. It's, it's quite positive, really. To be fair. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, yeah, head over to my website and uh, catch up with you soon. Be lucky.